serious trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. Using a diversion, Cobra stows strange cargo aboard the shuttle, captures Space Station Delta, and fires the powerful laser cannon, destroying Joe headquarters. But this is only the first step in Cobra's master plan to build a pyramid of darkness beneath which no source of electrical energy will function. Battling their way past huge water robots, Snake Eyes and Shipwreck suddenly face extermination at the entrance to the Control Cube factory as we begin the next exciting episode of G.I. Joe, The Pyramid of Darkness. Intruder must be exterminated! 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 Cobra Commander, the Great Snake rules forever! Wrong! H Hail Cobra Commander, the Great Snake rules forever! Hail Cobra Commander, the Great Snake rules forever! Day. Attention, loyal Cobra 13 workers. Control Cube 1 is completed and is now being readied for delivery. Finish remaining cubes with renewed vigor. Cobra! Pearl, keep headquarters in touch. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, 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 what are we doing? Uh, uh, well, that's a heck of a question. Uh, uh, you know what we're doing? You're supposed to be earning your pay, Snakeling. Now get to work. Uh, work? Oh, aye, sir. Right, sir. Work. Stop! Since when are birds and dogs part of Cobra regulations? Ah, uh, look. Uh, you want the parrot and pooch for target practice. They're all yours. Just don't tell Destro who told you to take them. Uh, Destro owns those animals? Well, Hitler had a canary, a till of the hun like goldfish. What can I tell you? You want Destro Zoo, buddy. You got it. Hold it. Get back to work, but uh, take care of these little pets. <coughs> Lovely Polly, sweet birdie. <coughs> and if he isn't nice to them, you let me know. Now start hauling titanium. Cobra Commander needs the rest of them cubes. Thanks for letting us establish temporary headquarters on your carrier, Admiral Ledger. Temporary is a word to remember, Flint. I run a tight ship, and that doesn't leave much room for visitors, even when they're friendly, but especially when they're female. Women aren't bad luck at sea, Admiral. That's just an Old Navy superstition. Old Navy is just what I am, ma'am. I've been at sea so long, whales ask me for directions. There's something coming in on Joe Frequency. That beeper belongs to Shipwreck. All right, he escaped the water robots. I'll punch up a close shot. Destro, Shipwreck must have tagged his operation. Projecting Destro's flight coordinates shows him touching down at a cute volcanic vacation spot known as the Devil's Playground. But that's no place for a lady, Flint. I will need someone to maintain surveillance aboard the carrier. And I'm sure you'll pick the right man for the job. Yo, Joe! She's not just a lady, Admiral Ledger. She's my teammate. Yo, Joe! Figured 
Dusty. Why ain't Zartan blasting more Joe positions on Earth instead of working us like slaves in zero gravity? Keep working! No shirking! <laughs> maybe Cobra's got bigger fish to French fry, and maybe this electronic gear's part of their plan. Work! No talking! Right, handsome. We love to work. As a matter of fact, I even wrote a song about it. When you slave for a cobra, sure is neat to do your work to a boogie-woogie beat. Just let your feet tap and move while the prisoners groove with a bodio dodio reet. Work! All right, already. We've got to get into the control room, find out what's going on here, and then get word back to Earth. <laughs> Lots of luck. First, you gotta get past those scuzzy fuzzies. Ugh. Then there's those knuckle-headed dreadnoughts. Man, even old Junkyard would have trouble slipping through all the security. I didn't say it'd be easy, Mutt. Wait a minute. I got an idea. What is it? Shh. Look. The gravity lever. Yeah, so? So what if gravity suddenly falls in on us, and I mean falls? <laughs> yeah, of course. Let me warn the others. Give me two minutes, then throw the lever back to zero G. Okay, get crazy. <laughs> no more! No more! Get back to work! I can't say you no more! I need gravity! Gravity! Much timing is perfect. He's gone crackers! Go, Joe! E.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Hey, lighten up, you guys! Whoa! Good old Mutt. He's reached the control room level. Come on, we'll go down the utility round. Back to work. Yes, sir. No! to satisfy you for quite a while. Cobra must be up to something big. Take the prisoner and your wretched selves out of here at once! Luke, are you okay? Dusty, get a message back to... Horizontal alignment has been verified. Commence implantation. 3.09 units down on vertical axis. Slowly, slowly. Ah. Sander. Maintain cube position. Let's put one cube down. 
Everything must interfere with Q placement. Cobra! Color. Don't laugh, you bum. <laughs> I don't know what that cube does, but we've got to take it apart before it does it. I'm not crazy about the way things are going, Snake Eyes. This assembly line's churning out cubes faster than we can figure out what to do. Attention, attention! A message from our glorious leader, Cobra Commander! Up his nose with a fire hose! <laughs> production of the control cubes. The fourth and final cube must be finished at once, so we do not lose the strategic advantage to our enemy, G.I. Joe. Now, back to work and victory, Cobra! Cobra! We gotta scoop the story on those cubes and get traveling. Hold it. The chief engineer's office. We've hit pay dirt. Hmm, this'll take a little finesse. Finesse? Yeah, finesse! <laughs> Batten down your bilge, Polly. We got work to do. Bingo! That laser disc programs the assembly line. Everything headquarters needs to know about those cubes is on this. Okay, turn around nice and slow. Good going, Timber. Okay, okay, you too, Polly. And speaking of going, we're gone. Refrigerators doesn't make you an electronics expert. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I know enough to put this circuit jumper across those communications cables. And then anything Zartan picks up on his monitor will be broadcast out on Joe Frequency? That's the idea, but first we need a diversion. I hope this cable has enough voltage. <laughs> I'm sure it'll spark some interest. <laughs> As dumb as they are, ugly. No, 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 no! Get back to your post! Come on now, let go! Okay, Dusty, do your stuff. Prisoners, now you pay! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Jolt. That's really gonna do it? You bet. Uh, probably. I hope. The Crimson Twins will soon reach the City of the Dead without interference from...
from G.I. Joe. The cube should be in place shortly. I'm picking up something on Joe Frequency from Space Station Delta. Major Blood is on schedule for arrival at the Mountain of Glass, Sartan. There remains but one last link to complete my master plan. Cobra's got the Delta Station. They're planting cubes throughout creation. If we don't start retaliation, we're sunk, and that's no bunk. Roadblock, what are we gonna do? Huh? Hold on, crew. Roadblock said retaliation, didn't he? Yeah. Said yeah! Well, that's just what we're gonna do! Retaliate! Go! Go! You know, Footloose, I think Admiral Ledger showed exceptional judgment in assigning us to head this cube-chasing detachment. You and I are a uniquely capable combination, don't you think? Like, mix no never mind to me, Airtight. I'll just mellow out until we hit the city of the dead. I'm gonna use this time to double-check my computations on fuel consumption. 9.2 times 5.0. You, button your lip and fly this ship. And you, on your toes or I'll mash your nose. You two dingbats never headed a mission before. Well, that's why Admiral Ledger put me in charge. So shape up now, or this goes pow. Uh, right, Roadblock. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, right away, sir. We're on our way. Major Blood's heading for that charming frozen confection, that jagged ice peak called the Mountain of Glass. And we're gonna climb it, Bazook, hand over hand, dangling in space thousands of feet in the air. Ain't that exciting? No, sickening. Why you said that? Fallen. Oh, well, don't worry, we won't do that part. <laughs> This thing's got auxiliary power, but we can't risk the noise until we're farther out. Keep it up, Polly, and I'll turn you into a hood ornament. Uh oh. Timber, help Snake Eyes pump while I start the engine. Put your paws into it. It won't catch. Come on, you rust-covered barnacle. Thanks, Timber. I owe you a big one. They can't outrun our track, reptiles. Take Route F and intercept them at Junction 7. Oh, no! uh -huh. So long, I feel like a toadstool. Let's stash these uniforms where they belong. Great. We 
just went from the sewer up to the toilet. I have them. They're moving into the civilian sector. Maintain fire until Q placement has been verified. Point five seven zero. Critical. Mark. Well, if we can't take the low road, the high road's not a bad idea. One, two, three. You jump. In our next episode, Snake Eyes and Shipwreck encounter an unexpected ally in the slums of Enterprise City, and Alpine shatters the mountain of glass by yodeling, while Roadblock, Airtight, and Footloose battle their way through the ancient city of the dead, past giant clay warriors, in a desperate attempt to prevent the Crimson Twins from planting another one of the mysterious control cubes. All in the next exciting episode of G.I. Joe, The Pyramid of Darkness. Thank you.